Iran's one secret underground nuclear fuel enrichment plant. The Pentagon is worried Iran is now burying weapons factories so deep that the current arsenal of bombs can't reach them, leaving the U.S. with no viable military option if a strike was ever ordered. This new Air Force 15-ton bomb may change that calculation. This is the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP, now being rushed into development to be carried on B-2 and B-52 bombers. The most likely targets, Iran and North Korea, which are believed to have buried weapons facilities hundreds of feet underground or into the sides of mountains. Some of those would probably require this massive ordnance penetrator simply because they're buried so deep and no other bomb would be able to certainly destroy them. At 30,000 pounds, the MOP, some experts say, will be able to penetrate 60 feet of concrete, a significant boost over current bunker-busting bombs like the 2,000-pound Blue 109, which can penetrate just 6 feet of concrete, and the 5,000-pound GBU-28, which can go through about 20 feet of concrete. This has been a capability that we have long believed was missing from our uh, our. Uh, quiver or arsenal and we wanted to make sure we f we filled in that gap. No airstrikes against North Korea or Iran appear to be in the works, but Iran says it could start enriching uranium here in the next two years and both the U.S. and Israel want to ensure that Iran cannot manufacture and assemble a nuclear weapon. All of this has now led to more funding for the MOP. The Pentagon plans to have the first bombs available by December 2010 two years earlier than planned. Even though the military option is always theoretically on the table, the Pentagon likes to say it's not helpful to speculate on future targets. But this new 30,000-pound bomb is going to give the U.S. military an option it hasn't had before. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.